you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is adrian also known as adriorama <laughs> today i'm filming i actually don't know i just am gonna put the camera on and we're just gonna have a little chatty catch-up week i'm gonna do a little haul we're gonna talk about coachella i don't know i'm just gonna hit record my boyfriend's coming into town later tonight so i only have a few hours um, that I can film this. It's been a crazy hectic week, so truly my apologies for like not being on top of my YouTube game, my editing creativity game. But you can always go check out my Instagram and my TikTok. I'm always posting on there no matter what. Um, yeah, YouTube. YouTube's tough because I gotta like sit down, I gotta plan, I gotta get the creative ideas, and I don't know, it's, it's kind of a challenge for me, but so sorry for the lack of video last week, you guys. Like I said, Last week was Coachella weekend and it was crazy being in the desert and trying to focus on like finishing my outfits and enjoying my time and also like being in the desert with like little to no service and just kind of losing sleep regardless because the festival is like all day long and then you got to get the Uber back and it's like a whole thing. So yeah, last week, a video last week just wouldn't be possible. I could have made it work, but like I wouldn't have been like enjoying myself. I would have been stressed out. So thank you guys for understanding. Um, but from here on out, we're gonna be posting videos, so don't worry. Should we take a minute to talk about Coachella, first of all? If you guys keep up on my Instagram and my TikTok, you guys know I made these crazy DIY like button shorts. I just like got this idea. I knew I wanted to do a micro short, but I was like, okay, how can I like take this to the next level and like do something that no one's done before? And I was scrolling on Pinterest and I saw a picture of this hat that was like kind of covered in buttons not completely and it was like the buttons were white and that like set off an idea in my brain I was like oh my god what if I covered the entire set of shorts and like random crazy buttons and that's what I did you guys it took me so long I was sewing for three weeks I'm not kidding I'm gonna insert the video about the shorts right here do you guys remember last year's Coachella outfit? Of course you do, it was iconic. Four days before the festival, I decided to hand sew 800 sequins on this fabric. And you know what? I'm back on my DIY bullshit this year. We're gonna make an outfit. I asked my mom to send me buttons, any buttons she had at all. That woman literally has a Joanne Fabrics in her garage, so I knew I was in good hands. Okay, here's what she sent me. Honestly, this is perfect. So many, oh God. These are the shorts I'm sewing the buttons on. You're not even gonna be able to see the shorts because I want these completely covered in buttons. First button. One hour in, two hours and already over it. Five hours in, decided to dye the shorts to hide the white. Two weeks later, procrastinating AF, sewing at the airport and hating life. On the plane to Cali, in the car to Coachella. One day before Coachella, I'm screwed lol. Ran to the craft store for more buttons. Panicking about time. Anyways, here's how it turned out. Here they are the star of the show I tell you what i've never gotten so many compliments on a piece of clothing in my entire life and that just like is fulfilling because i handmade them so you know i can't be like oh thanks it's fast fashion like if somebody liked something so much and i just had to be like ah thanks i got it at brandy melville or something like that like that's not fulfilling you know but like being like thanks i made it like that is so fulfilling um and i love that i love you know like using stuff I already have and like upcycling and DIYing and creating something that no one else has ever done. So anyway, a few buttons have fallen off, um, but here they are. I literally just had my mom send me any buttons that she had. And like I mentioned in the video, that woman has like an entire Joanne Fabrics in her garage and my grandma. They were both seamstresses um, like for the dance studios. So like my, <sighs> this is like a long story. My grandpa was a ballet teacher. My grandpa had his own studio, and so my grandma would make the outfit, like the, she would sew the costumes for like the recitals for the kids. And that's what my mom did. So my mom would make the recital costumes for the studio that I grew up dancing at, because my mom was a ballet teacher and she made the costumes. So she had like, at our disposal, every fabric, button, hook and eye, any needle, scissors, sewing machine, serger, like ribbons, trim. Like she just has Joanne fabrics. So anyway, I was like, mom, I need buttons. And she delivered. This took me so long, you guys, in the sewing job. I'm not the best seamstress myself, but like, oh my God, there's like multiple buttons on like one piece of thread. And like, I don't think I like knotted them very well. So like, there's like definitely some like loose buttons 
and some buttons have popped off me from me shaking my ass in the desert but I am like literally so proud of these and I'm definitely gonna be wearing these like a million times like I think this is just like these are just like such a statement short but they're neutral like the colors are like for the most part neutral so I feel like I can just throw on like a sloppy t-shirt or if I wanted to dress it up like maybe I'll wear these to fashion week I don't know like these are just such a moment like I wouldn't be doing my self-service or these shorts service to only wear them for Coachella like all my other previous Coachella outfits with the exception of like this one I've reworn the pieces because I'm not about like to spend all this money and like get a Coachella outfit and then never wear it again. You know, it just is not, it's not sustainable thinking. So I'm really excited to like wear these in the future. If I had my own clothing brand, which one day I will, I'm speaking it out into the universe. I want to have my own clothing brand and like design pieces one day. Nothing super like serious and stuff, but like just like small batch, handmade, sustainably made like exclusive drops like that's what I would want to do you know and like these button shorts would totally be something that I would sell let's hope and let's cross my fingers that no fast fashion brands copy this or big designer brands let's just hope nobody copies my idea because my butt like these videos did kind of blow up and that always scares me like I don't want anyone like stealing this idea but also like I probably didn't invent it but still, I've never seen anyone. I don't know. I just don't. I just don't want like Forever Twenty One to come out with like button shorts, and sort of like invalidate my creations. Yeah, because I've seen like small like designers and stuff get their shit stolen. Not that I'm a designer, but like like someone from AliExpress or something is gonna make some like cheap ass button shorts and like sell them. Cause these are really special to me, and like I don't know. That would like break my heart if. Because it's happened to me before. It's literally happened to me before. AliExpress stole, like, a d skirt design that my mom made and mass sold it and it became, like, a huge thing. And, like, Shein picked it up. And then, like, Princess Polly picked it up. It's just like, damn, like, my mom made that skirt for me. And then all these brands started making copycats of it. Anyway, guys, how's your day? How's your week going? How's your Sunday? Happy Sunday. Um, wow, it's... It's almost summertime. It's almost summertime. I can feel the summertime vibes. Like, I can feel the energy. I can, like, I just am getting, like, summertime energy right now. I don't know if that's because, like, the weather's kind of decent or, like, I've been seeing a lot of, like, nostalgic, like, summer videos popping up on my feed. I don't know. I'm just, like, getting into the summer vibe. I'm ready for my hair to be down. Like, I'm ready for a tan. I'm ready to go to Italy and eat some pasta and drink some wine. I'm ready to have the legs out. I mean, my legs are always out, but like I'm ready to have my tan legs out. I'm ready to go to the pool. Like, it's just, I'm ready for summer. I'm really ready for summer. Okay, but the shirt that I wore with that outfit, I literally was stressing. Okay. I was stressing so bad because when I was packing my bags for Coachella in my last video um, and for California, I literally only had the button shorts like halfway done had nothing to go with it I had this like velvet vintage French bodysuit that I talked about two videos ago that I got from the flea market I knew I wanted to wear that for an outfit but I had nothing to go with it and then I had these shorts that I thrifted from Cure Thrift so cute by the way but nothing to go with it so I had like one piece for each of the outfits but nothing around it and so I went to California having nothing planned except for those three articles of clothing but like this is Coachella like I need accessories I need jewelry and shoes and like just putting my trust into the universe that I was gonna like go thrifting in California and like somehow come up with these outfits and thank god it worked I swear the best things come last minute like I don't know the best and most creative things that I come up with are always last minute and I'm always putting my trust somewhere else so literally the day before we drove to Coachella I went to I guess it's called Magnolia Street I want to say in Burbank I like took a uber out to Magnolia Street because I saw Devin and Sydney they posted like a wildflower promo video at this vintage store called play clothes in Burbank and I was like okay let me go there like it looks like really funky and like I know I'm gonna find something vintage and weird and like perfect so I go there, didn't end up finding anything, but I realized there's like 
a like a whole street of like vintage stores and something about these vintage stores they were so spot on to like my aesthetic like super funky and weird and like vintage cheerleading uniforms and like old patches and pins and like just weird funky stuff you know like girl scout core and like sailor core and clown core and just like weird ass shit and one of the last stores i went to was called junk for joy actually i'm gonna put the video here because i think that tiktok kind of explains everything you guys know I finished sewing these button shorts the morning of Coachella, but the day before I was also stressing because I desperately needed to find a top to match. I was in LA, I decided to take an Uber out to Burbank because I saw on the maps there was a lot of vintage stores in this one area, so I thought I was bound to find something that would work. One of the last shops I went to, I saw a rack outside that had like weird pirate shorts and pinstripes and pins on the door, and I just had a good feeling. When I walked in, they had racks separated by decades, a bunch of like marching band jackets and vintage cheerleading uniforms which you guys know i'm obsessed with i had to stop and manifest for a second because i just knew i was gonna find something in here so i was just putting out the good vibes you know what i mean <laughs> they had a ton of old cool vintage patches and pins and accessories bows collars spats headbands bow ties you name it they even had a cat i was like okay i'm in heaven right now and then i found it immediately knew when i picked up this lavender embroidered 1950s bolero that this was the piece she was a little short and my titties were gonna come out so i did sew buttons on the edge and here's how it turned out my day one coachella look i was so happy with this i'm so obsessed ignore that this is covered in like spray tan and like desert dust i haven't washed it yet but yeah i ended up finding this like really beautiful pale lavender bolero and i added buttons um along the bottom i don't know what i would have done i think i would have just like worn a like trashy t-shirt or something in a perfect world i would have had time to make like a button choker i think that would have been really cute just like a little band filled with buttons and then i would have made like button socks so like knee-high socks covered in buttons coming out of my boot. Oh, and then day two, this is the beautiful bodysuit that I got at a flea market. And I just thought, okay, this is like so Coachella, this is so perfect. But I kind of got a very last minute idea that I wanted to wear um, some, obviously some mini shorts. I'm such a mini short hoe right now. I think we all are, it's just like a trend and I'm just like milking the crap out of it. Um, but because like the crotch and the breast cups are gold, I was like, why don't I do gold shorts and then i remembered that my friend donna has a brand called brody tm she makes the cutest shorts these shorts that i have are from her like the little cheetah micro shorts very trendy but she also makes little gold hot shorts and i reached out to her and i was like donna do you have time to custom make me some shorts for coachella and like she's the sweetest person i love her she was so nice she was like of course let me know what you want so i got the mini gold shorts and then i had met up with her in la and i gave her some patches that i got from 10 feet single by stella dallas and i had her put those on the front and then she put these two on the back originally i wanted like three or four patches on each like panel but she said that uh, with the fabric and like how it stretches and it just like would have looked weird so I was like okay that's fine paired together with this bodysuit I thought it looked so good and then I just was scrolling on Depop and I saw this like sort of clown collars I was like oh my god that's perfect it's the perfect touch to tie in with like the ruffles and the lace and it's like weird and interesting and I just thought it was perfect I like literally I'm gonna be re-wearing these because I think it's just like genius and then I got matching arm cuffs like i'm so sorry like i loved this outfit i loved my day one outfit just as much as my day two i thought this was like really like unique and funky and also i'm extremely extremely hungover i don't like drinking anymore i'm i don't know i don't like alcohol like i don't drink that much anymore ever and i went out last night and i was like you know what i haven't i haven't drank in a while let me let me let me get a little silly and it was just too much like I hate drinking like it's just not fun anymore I don't know maybe I'm just getting old but like hangovers that last till like 5 p.m. I can't do it anymore I can't do it anymore I don't know I don't like drinking I don't remember the name of this seller who sells these she has them in all different sizes and colors I'll put her Depop shop on the screen so you guys can check her out so then day three I flew to California only knowing that I was gonna wear these shorts on day three which by the way i'm obsessed with these shorts i got them at cure thrift um there's like a little like low-key blood stain on them but we're not going to talk about that i've washed them they're clean 
Um, but they're like, have you ever seen like garter shorts? They're like, it's like a garter belt, but like in a pair of shorts. And they're like mesh on the side. And they've got like a silk front. Like I thought these were so cute. There's no way I was going to pass these up. I went to Shop Rat Star in LA. Maybe you've heard of it. Um, actually, Donna works there. And Donna sells Brody TM, which is her brand, the gold shorts, at Shop Rat Star. And I found this top and I knew right away. I was like, yep, I'm. this is coming home with me. I'm wearing this to Coachella. It's this beautiful sort of like puff sleeve, super deep v-neck, triangular button, like square front, peplum with the coattail in the back, the coolest silky top and oh dry clean only okay that's good to know definitely would have washed this i've ruined so many clothes like that um there's no brand on it so i wish i could tell you but i do not know um and yeah i got this at shop rat star so cute i ended up wearing this with the shorts and like the way it just like went together perfectly it was like so meant to be and i also got this belt from shop rat star it's a Brody TM belt. I actually was gonna wear this as a choker. Like I figured out a way to make it like this and then have the belt like either throw it over my shoulder or like dangle it down. But it was kind of like stabbing me in the throat. And I was like, you know what? I wanna be comfortable at Coachella. So I didn't end up wearing this as a choker, but like that could be cool. It was so much fun. This is a reminder, plug my fridge back in. Yeah, I unplugged my fridge because it's too loud. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. We just, yeah, we had a lot of fun. I went with my friend Morgan. Pinterest took us. They literally just gave us tickets. I commented on their Instagram and was like, Pinterest, take me to Coachella. And they were like, okay. So that was crazy. So shout out to Pinterest. It was really fun. We like went into the Pinterest manifestation that they had at Coachella. Yeah, we also went to, what did we do? We went to like... Camp Poosh, which was pretty cool and crazy. I took like a bunch of pictures. Anderson Pack was DJing. Like, Doja Cat's performance was incredible, you guys. Like, go on YouTube if you haven't like seen it. Like, holy shit, we were so close to the front too. We did that on, it was like a complete accident, but we got so close to the front. Like, it was crazy. She was dancing in like this mud pit. I love Doja. I will stand Doja forever anyways let's just move on to i have a little haul for you guys when i was at the silver lake flea i saw this like little vintage lisa simpson baby tea and i'm such a simpsons fan i mean the, the, i liked the simpsons in like the 2000s um anyway love this great t-shirt fits amazing super soft it's like universal studios kids i'm definitely more of a bart but i do love lisa okay and then yesterday or two days ago i went to a motel rocks brunch and they sent me this like little striped um shorts set which you guys can already predict i'm obsessed with and will be wearing constantly um and then a little matching red and white striped square cut top and then i got a package from londi londi um like these like little cute sort of like cotton boxer briefs with like the thick band that says Londi. I love these. I love this type of underwear. I think it's really cute to just like lounge around the house in. Um, sometimes I like wearing these with like big baggy jeans and having like the little band pop out at the top. I think that's really cute. And then I got a little matching little bralette. Also they sent me these like ruffly underpants. <laughs> I think they're like they're like hot shorts you know like little micro shorts uh, but they're like underwear shaped um so that's that that's gonna be funny i don't know maybe like with a maybe with like a pair of tights and like a long sleeve sweater and some heels i think this could be like chic if i styled it kind of like this outfit that i wore to fashion week sort of like the same concept like a diaper i also just got three new pairs of socks from double soul they sent their newest collab with caroline ricky i think it was their last name so yeah i love these like little pastel stripes i think those are so cute good job caroline I want to do a collab with Double Soul. Like, would Double Soul do a collab with me? Okay, and then got these cute little pink and black ones. And then these little, like, Argyle ones. Super cute. Okay, I have a ton of clothes from, um, like, the vintage section on the Free People website. I didn't even know that they had that, but I'm doing um, an advertisement with them on my TikTok. 
this month. I actually have to film that after this. So I'll just like run through quickly what I got. You guys are going to see it on my TikTok, I guess, as well. These little brown suede high-waisted shorts. This like little cute California license plate bag. I'm obsessed with this. This is like so up my alley. The funny thing is that there's like two pills in here. Like I opened it up and there's like a red, I don't know if you can see it. It's like an orange and a green pill. Okay, I got these like little vintage sunnies. I got this really cute mint green and gold, like the gold lettering, um, Elvis on tour vintage tee. It's super old. Um, there's no brand, but it's like so soft. I want to style this for my Instagram soon. I got these like little from Arden B, these like little sequin micro shorts. I think these are really cute. They're like Maybe not really my style, but like maybe. I don't know, I just like never really wear black. I don't really like wearing black. Um, but I think this could be cute. Like, I feel like these will come in handy for sure. I guess these are like little sailor shorts, like little sailor men um, on the pocket. I thought these were like really cute. I need to figure out how to style these because they're like kind of weird and they kind of have a weird fit. But they're cute and I like them. I also got this t-shirt that says fame on it which is like the old movie um if you haven't seen it it's a great movie super soft like a buttery soft like they don't make t-shirts like this anymore um just like super buttery soft vintage movie t-shirt says fame and i just thought it was funny like fame fame and then lastly from the free people vintage website i got this i don't know why i picked this out but it's just this sort of like cobalt blue wool blazer i feel like i could style this well yeah that's what i got from free people okay you guys i think that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it was nice to just like sit down and catch up with you guys and just kind of ramble i'm gonna go film my tiktok for free people and then i gotta clean this house my man is coming i haven't seen him in like a month so i'm just excited we're gonna like go out to eat and hang out with some friends so yeah i'm excited for that anyways i love you guys um, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I will link everything here or down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting and being so kind on all of my channels. Um, yeah, enjoy your week and uh, I'll catch you in next week's video. Okay, bye. bye.